Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we are taking a look at stereo piano miking techniques. The reality is that the only place that we actually get a true left to right sound or low to high sound is directly above the hammers. And the only person that hears this in the real world is the artist that's performing. However, we're going to look at several different types of stereo miking techniques and the benefits of each one. Now for each example, we're using a match set of AKG 414s. Why 414s? They're a common microphone, we know the sound, and they allow for several different polar patterns to be able to switch between the different techniques. I'll begin by introducing each technique, and then from there, we'll listen to some examples back to back without any dialogue in between. First up is XY. XY is super simple to set up and it's always mono compatible. Take your microphones, place them at a 90 degree angle, right above the hammers. Just make sure that they are not so close that you only get the center of the piano, but are high enough that you get the full spread of the entire range of the piano. Next up is Blumline. Blumline is essentially the same as XY. However, with Blumline, we're going to set our microphones to a figure of eight pattern. So instead of only capturing downward, we also get the microphones capturing upward, which is going to introduce a little more room sound and maybe a little more openness to the piano. Next up is space pair inside the piano. Take two cardioid microphones and place them facing down toward the strings. Realize that this doesn't give you a true left-right sound from low to high because the strings overlap within the piano and there's a lot of sound bouncing around between the soundboard and the lid. However, it is a great way to isolate the piano from other instruments, especially in a live circumstance. Next up is ORTF in the crook of the piano. Take two cardioid microphones at 110 degrees and place them in the crook. This gives a nice stereo perspective of the piano. It's not low to high or left to right, but it gives you a nice width of the piano. It's mono collapsible and really gives you a ton of presence, but with a natural sound. Last up is using your microphones as room mics. And in this case, we are going to set them up as omnidirectional microphones. Make sure to use the three to one rule when placing them. Set them to omni and place them distant from the piano. In doing this, you get a nice reverberant sound. It's going to be similar to the way the audience would hear the piano and it works great on a bigger room. We're in a smaller room today, but as you get into a full chamber or concert hall, this is really a great technique, especially when combined with other techniques such as ORTF or direct mics over the hammers.
Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts? And do you have any favorite go-to stereo miking techniques on piano? If so, please leave them in the chat below. And as always, please help support the channel by liking this video and hitting subscribe.